stop. No, 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 no. You want to use crap? <laughs> I, think we should, I think we should ignore Shapiro except when he's doing genocide stuff because I think he likes when people talk about him in the context okay. of crap top and stuff. for men thing aren't... Well, the value of this, of course, is like, <laughs> again, uh, maybe he's just saying it's... In fact, but it, it, it's also like, again, it's talking about like social construct. I construct. mean... Like, we weren't born with the specific clothing well, on our bodies. I mean, let's be real here. Uh, the, the, it, it, there, it was as early as, or as recently as like, I don't know, watch, me watching the Dallas Cowboys last year where I saw a man in a crop top. Ezekiel Elliott, that's his whole thing. Um, I've seen a bunch of movies with men wearing crop tops. I enjoy it. Um, right, I think most women do. Let's I mean, put like, let's put it up. We gotta get to, and I'll just make this clear too. Uh, I wouldn't wear a crop top, but that's because uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm missing like um, a couple of my uh, six packs. I, I understand, uh, my pack. <laughs> and that, that is your prerogative, but I find it amusing. Because and yeah, I mean, like, no one is saying forcibly put men in crop tops immediately. I don't care how uncomfortable you are wearing a crop top. You have to wear one from now on. It is the only acceptable male assigned clothing. Because Ben does two things here that are funny. One, he just doesn't seem to understand the concept that uh, women who are you know, uh, like myself, you know, like apps, right? Uh, that's kind of a thing. Also, he says, I don't want to make assumptions about gay men, but then makes a ton of assumptions about what women like, which is always fun. Got a comment on the dumbest fashion trend of the day. There is such an effort in legacy. Imagine thinking this is the dumbest fashion trend. There is no outfit that is more masculine than a three inch inseam shorts and a crop top. See media to make men into women, it is astonishing. <laughs> so there's a new piece at the New York Times by a person named Emma Grillo. Pause it for one second. Called okay, look, he just said there's an effort to make men into women at the New York Times. And how, and now he's going to tell us how they are trying to make men into women. And it's going to have to do with a piece of clothing. If a piece of clothing can change you from a man into a woman, and I'm not saying that it is in this instance, but if he believes that, then he believes that gender is a social construct. We are not born with a specific color shirt on our, like if it's pink or it's blue or something like that. That is society imposing this, constructing what it means to be a man, what it means to be a woman. That is a social construct. And he is acknowledging this, even though his entire network is dedicated against that proposition. Got a comment on the dumbest fashion trend of the day. Gotta. There is such an effort in legacy media to make men into women. It is astonishing. So there's a new piece at the New York Times by a person named Emma Grillo. Also, really quickly, I just want to say something, okay? I'm not trying to turn any men into women, okay? I'm just trying to turn men into sluts. Then there's a very big difference, okay? If you want to transition, yeah, go for it. Transition. Be your best self. I'm just talking to the people, I'm just talking to the dudes who don't want to transition. Any dudes in chat who are cis and know they're cis, that's my target audience. Okay? It's funny to me how conservatives default to thinking women have no natural preferences, but men do. Women wear crop tops <laughs> because they think they're cute, but someone like Ben assumes it's for his gaze only, and that's what leads to the cognitive dissonance for them. True. Fucking true. Called Men Are Bearing Midriffs in Crop Tops. Some are cropping their shirts at home. Others are buying them from stores, women's sections. It's first of all, 99.8% of the men who are bearing their midriffs and crop tops are gay. There are not a lot of straight dudes who are like, you know what I'm going to do when I hang my belly out here. Hmm. Those aren't called crop tops when, when straight dudes do it. It's just you're too fat for your shirt when straight what? dudes do it. Are there no straight men that have abs? What? <laughs> <laughs> Only gay men are hot and sexy, okay? Which, like, he has a good point only because of one thing. Any guessers in chat? Seven months. 
Slutty men in crop tops are better than men like Ben who can't make his wife wet in and cool. Kiriko, thank you for the seven months. Thank you. Oh, is this not the right one? I'm trying to find a pay it's just, the payout will be good, chat, I swear. I I swear. Okay, there we go. Finally the payout. Which like never mind. This this payout wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it all. It took too long. The joke is over, okay? I was gonna make like a straight dudes can never be as hot as gay dudes joke, and then I was gonna pull up Austin's Twitter. And it, I, I see so many pictures of Austin shirtless on my feed because I follow himboism on Twitter. <laughs> and I was like, well, it should be pretty easy to find a picture of Austin shirtless on his Twitter account. There are none. It's just like fucking himboism is the one putting them all on my fucking feed, which I'm not complaining, but I expected to pull it out faster. Okay. Back to the video. And indeed, every picture from this story is about a gay dude who's burying his belly. So first of all, let me just say, just as a fashion matter, no one wants to see the midriff of another man. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shut the fuck up, Ben. You're ruining my fucking life. I want to. I want to. I don't give a fuck what you want, okay? If you want to only see clothed fully clothed men then that's your prerogative fucking go move to like i don't know go move to fucking some mormon state uh, utah is that the one okay shut the fuck up you're spreading propaganda right now just as a general i'm not gonna speak for gay men women i don't think are interested neither are straight men <laughs> women like Almost a year. Keep up the great job. Oh, thank you. Guardian, I'll leave you in 11 months. I think... I think men should stop speaking on behalf of women. I'm looking at you, Ben. Okay? You're ruining our lives. Like, this is right. just generally right. not an attractive thing. Now he's us. First off, rule. he's... he's hey, but, I, I, I don't know if he's implying that gay men are not men. Um, But he's also speaking for what women like can i can i speak a little bit more on it um i think i i want to say one quick thing also um the whole not getting your wife wet thing in tandem with the i know what women want You are so brave, man. You're like braver than the fucking troops to be on record saying that. That's crazy. I like crop tops. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why he under he thinks he knows what I would like in a man. Um, but he seems to have like very, very uh, poor understandings of what like women like sexually in general. I mean, you guys can look this up. <laughs> Emma, stop! You're pre-watching my content. Stop it, Emma. No, I'm just kidding, Emma. You can pre-watch my content whenever. Uh, infamously, he, he spoke about WAP, and I don't need to elaborate any further, but, um, yeah, keep going. <laughs> you, well, general, does, does this look like a guy who doesn't know what women like? <laughs> yeah, he's got a stylist now. I mean, come on. Hey, I mean, this is the up? fashion report. Every picture from this story is about a gay dude who's burying his belly. So first of all- That is true. The stylist is not doing him any favors, by the way. Honestly, you know what the problem is? Ben just looks like he should be wearing a suit and tie everywhere he goes. Well, let me just say, just as a fashion matter, no one wants to see the midriff of another man. Just as a general, I'm not going to speak for gay men. Women, I don't think, are interested. Neither are straight men. I don't think. Like, this is not just generally not an attractive thing, as a rule. Yes. Famously, women hate abs. Famously, women hate looking at chests and abs and belly buttons and what is it called? Happy trails. Very famously. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but, you know, all that is female must become male, apparently. 
Also, like, <laughs> it is not a feminine trait to wear a crop top. Crop tops are not gendered. <laughs> Women famously don't like abs. Yeah, um, but I it just all the the, the it, this is the dumbest clip of all time. I understand that one. I think he resents having to do this culture war stuff. That's my guess. But he does it for money and views. Two is like notice just how truly they're specifically mostly focused on people who might have penises who are transitioning or people who might be men who are dressing in a way that he considers too feminine because transphobia and homophobia rooted in misogyny rooted in patriarchy like that is what they are focused on um but again like people were responding to it showing videos of rocky boxing in the crop top i mentioned the ezekiel elliott thing these are all just little fashion trends that he feels he needs to comment on to reinforce gender like i think in the, in the standard of that right boys go to college to get more knowledge and girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Sorry, I was muted. Fuck, you're right! Oh, I'm getting so owned right now, dude. Now, as opposed to the 80s, or... I mean, all of this is just so, so silly. But it's... But it is, again, the... the for me, the big takeaway about this and why we play these clips is that it is an admission that gender is not fixed. Yes. Because if you say there... Which is a very good point, by the way. If your position is gender is fixed completely, you are the assigned gender at birth and gender is determined by your genitals, then what does it matter what you wear? How is clothing feminizing you if you are the assigned gender at birth? There's a problem. These guys, these men are not acting like men. They're not manly because they're wearing a, like a piece of cloth that you can pick up and put on at any time. Then you're admitting that gender is a construct you just don't like the way it's changing but you admit that it can change yeah that it is a function of society's norms and once you admit that you have to admit that a trans woman is a woman yep that it is a did anyone see that one terrible clip i'm gonna just get sidetracked for two seconds the really terrible clip of Blair White being the biggest pick me on the planet. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? If you could link it, chat. Oh, shit made me sick. Like, I felt physically nauseous after watching that. Who? Whew. Sorry, I just saw something. This is like half of chat. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> this is <laughs> I was looking for the Blair White clip and I found this instead. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um... I'm just trying to find it right now. Hmm. Look at the videos and see if I can find it. Probably won't be able to, but that's all good. Okay. The TLDR chat is that there was this terrible Blair White video that was on my fucking feed. Because that's what being on Twitter is like. Where she was insistent on saying, I am actually not a woman. I am a man. Um, I am actually... Yeah, I'm trans women are not women. I think it was this can one. Can I just be real? I consider trans women to be a category... Sorry. <laughs> Can I just be real? Meanwhile, her entire channel is a grift. Of men, not a category of women. That is my opinion as a trans woman myself. So don't you dare tell me I can't have my opinion. 
Lord, I mean, sweetie, you can have your opinion, but just know that you're being you're fucking wrong. You're absolutely incorrect. You can have as many opinions as you want. You also have the constitutional right to be a dumb bitch. Okay. Your gender does not preclude you from that. If I sat up here talking about I'm a dummy girl that is poly and I also identify as a bookcase. <laughs> Everyone will be saying, oh, my God, that's valid. I was like making fun of like four different groups for absolutely no reason. But God forbid I say, you know what? I'm not really the same thing as a woman. And it's like, you can't say that. OK, can I just be real? I consider trans women to be a category of men. Anyways. What's valid to say is that her eyebrows need work. Sweetie, what are you doing with those brows? Sweetie, put the pencil down. Okay, put the tweezers down, put the pencil down. Sweetie, please, we can do better. We can do better, okay? We can literally not fix her, yeah. Literally can't fix her. Et etch a sketch brows. Yeah, <laughs> you could land a plane on the. <laughs> okay, I I'm gonna criticize her. This is just me being out of pocket. Now I'm just being a petty bitch because I don't like her. But why is her face makeup like four shades whiter than her skin? I understand one shade. I understand two shades. I understand it not being perfect. I mean, even like mine. It's like pretty close, but it's never going to be perfect, especially because I tan in the sun and I only have one foundation color, so it's never going to match perfectly. But like the skin tone here and the skin tone here are like miles away from from like each other. Like put the concealer down, put the highlighter down. OK, you don't need to highlight half your face. Please. Please, sweetheart. Please. Okay. I don't want to point that out, but yeah. No, 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 no. Chat. Always point out when someone's makeup looks like shit. If they're a bad person, that's the best time to point out someone's makeup being shit. Okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not rebuying makeup after you change skin tones. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Anyways, yeah, it's the most valid because you have no excuse, okay? You're going to perform all of these aspects of femininity and you're going to have the worst makeup I've ever seen in my life. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Anyways, I forgot about this. I'm very vulnerable right now if any bad bitches want to take advantage of me. <laughs> I, I need to get a, like a shirt version of this so badly. Okay, we'll go back to the video. I was just reminded of that terrible Blair TikTok off of Sam saying what he just did. But you admit that it can change. Yeah. That it is a function of society's norms. And once you admit that, you have to admit that a trans woman is a woman. Yep. That it is a function, a social construct. And Mediated by things like fashion. <laughs> mediated by fashion and what they wear and what is considered like a womanly or what is considered manly. And the, the amazing thing about it is they'll do this, they'll do segment after segment after segment, proving, reiterating, gender is a social construct. That's why you've got to wear manly clothes. Otherwise you're not manly. Yeah. And they don't realize Which again, it undercuts the entire sort of raison so d'etre. It's so funny within the context of Ben Shapiro. Like, Ben Shapiro pretending like he is the arbiter of what is manly and what is not manly when the motherfucker is like 100 pounds soaking wet and is like manlet sized. You don't have the right to go around saying who is and who is not a man, okay? 
You don't even fit the norms of what you consider to be manly. And you're going to go around telling other people uh, you're actually not behaving in a manly way. Oh, and then, yeah, and then he's I got the voice, too. I totally forgot. Even the left says to normalize something. If it's normal, we have to enforce it. So I don't want this new thing to be normal. Yes, I mean, exactly. Also, I think some part of it is like unironic bigotry where have you guys ever met people um who used to be homophobic this is a very specific type of person so stick with me for a second but people who used to be homophobic maybe like when you were growing up and then grew out of it and they were like oh man that was pretty fucked up like that's not acceptable and obviously there are lots of people that are still homophobic duh but they have a very strong visceral reaction to seeing two gay people existing. And it's like, ew, that's gross. And they don't bother to question, hey, is this okay for me to be thinking this? Maybe my first reaction to seeing people existing shouldn't be this. Uh, in a similar vein, or maybe something that is uh, better analogous um people who are like fat phobic or even people in chat like i will say this is something that i've worked on where uh i remember growing up obviously media was really bad when i was growing up like uh, fat phobic media was really bad when i was growing up but seeing someone who's overweight or obese and being like ew gross and then having to deprogram that part of your brain to be like no they're just like a fucking person existing there's nothing gross occurring in front of me. It's just another human being. And that is a that is a that is my bad to think that. You know? And you have to actively deprogram that, right? I think and we can even go back. This is the same type of bigotry that's always existed, right? You are socialized into thinking something is gross and then you start feeling the emotion of like recoil, like or like the emotion of like disgust. And then recoiling in that disgust. And then saying, well, of course that thing is bad. I feel negatively about it. And you never recognize like, wait. this I only feel this way because society made me feel this way. Um, something, if we go even further back, something that maybe is harder to imagine. Uh, like mixed race couples. I feel like the vast majority of Americans, not all weirdly not all <laughs> but the vast majority of americans we see mixed race couples and we're like you don't even think about it it's just like you're it it's like seeing a piece of gum on the sidewalk you're just walking you're just continuing to walk you don't recognize it you don't see it it's like in your peripherals completely right go back like fucking a couple a couple decades and people had a visceral reaction to that where they were like, this is not acceptable. This is causing a strong negative emotion in me. And because it's causing a strong negative emotion in me, it must be wrong. You know? My brother deals with that all the time from dumbass family. Oh yeah, that's why I said, I feel like most of us don't know a lot of people who have strong emotions about mixed race couples. Like most of us are just like, yeah, that's a couple. Like, if you showed me a mixed-race couple and you were like, notice anything, I'd be like, no, I don't, what is there to notice, you know? Obviously, if you grew up as, um, like, a kid from a mixed-race family or couple or whatever, I'm sure your experience was very different and you did, in fact, run into weirdos and shit, but a town near me had, like, segregated proms till 2012. What the fuck? Jesus. Do you want to get me banned, dude? Do you want to get me fucking banned typing this? It's like having crackers by themselves. Crackers are always better when something else adds flavor. Are you trying? Are you trying to get me banned? Okay. But... He is right, though. Like, I feel like mixed... Everyone I've ever known who's been, like, mixed race, they're some of the prettiest people. Like, FR? FR?
that far? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just been my experience. I don't know. That far. <laughs> it's almost like we were meant to or something. Mm. Mm. I'm native in Spanish and I felt that and I felt that felt great. Yeah, of course. All right. I was just making sure I wasn't missing anything in chat. Let's get back to the video. If you will. Yeah, I don't know if people... Like people watch their, their network. The uh, NBA playoffs this year, but one of the, uh, I think the most manliest men who was playing basketball uh, this spring, uh, Jimmy Butler, here is him in 2019, so ahead of the curve. Look at him trying to Ugh, turn into... Gross! I, I don't know if he was trying Ew, out for the WNBA Oh my here. God, I hate that. Oh my God. That's so disgusting. Where can I find more of these photos so I know where to avoid them? Because it's so gross. Ew, that man is wearing a crop top. That's so... Oh my God. <laughs> if what was going on, but Sorry, it was just playing hot. for the Sixers. <laughs> Sorry, not oh hot. hot. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Not beautiful. <laughs> that is... I don't appreciate that whatsoever. I mean, it is, I I find it offensive that someone has uh, like that level of body fat. I, I, find it, I, I find it offensive that Ben Shapiro would not want us to see this. Like it's trying no, to get- personally, I find it offensive that people are allowed to be that hot. Like, you're gonna make the rest of us feel bad because we're all hideous and you're not. Well, you know what? Fuck you, too. And to not do this. I find it actually offensive to uh, people who are... This is anti-woman. Yeah, honestly, it is anti-woman. <laughs> it is. It's anti-also anybody that, that, want, that likes men. Um, this is just... I mean, I don't want to talk more about this anyway. Let's keep going. Let's move on. Like, even, like, when I was a kid, I didn't have... Like, well, a, he's Jimmy Butler. I mean, he's... Yeah, no one's, <laughs> you are not a professional basketball player. Okay. Just keep it up there. Take it down. <laughs> just relax. Yeah, Emma, you really got hotter in here. No, it's, everyone's just looking at me. <laughs> this is this is Emma's just like me for real. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, I love her. I love her so much. Oh gosh. Down horrendous. Honestly, bigly, bigly same. Okay, chat. Um I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. but there's a video. What's your take on shorts on guys? You should only be wearing shorts if it's a three inch inseam. Candace Owens published this video and I'm scared. It's titled, Black Woman Goes on Insane Racist Rant Against White People. Now, the reason I'm scared is because do you think Twitch will get upset at me if I play a video that has a TikTok in it that has the text bleach demons in it? Twitch, haha, -ha, Twitch, don't be mad at me. Twitch, I swear, I swear, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to be banned, okay? Um... So pray for me, chat, okay? 